Hey y'all, this is Sir Tater Chip here. Today I'm going to walk you through on how to install complementary shaders unbound with Euphoria patches and Distant Horizons. I have not found a video that shows you how to do everything from start to finish if you don't have anything on your computer. So today I'm going to walk you guys through the entire process. So I'm going to supply all these links in the bottom of the YouTube video for everything you need. They'll all be there for you. We're going to start with Java 21. You do need this if you do not already have it. This is the file here. Make sure you click Windows. We're going to download this compressed archive file first. Go ahead and drag that to your desktop so we can use it later. All right, now you're going to want to in download the installer as well. Let's go ahead and download that. All right. We're just going to slide this over here for a second. Get out of here. All right. Now that you have these two files downloaded, you're going to want to go ahead and run this, which is the installer. We're going to get Java 21 installed. Go ahead and click next. Next. All right, now we can go ahead and click close. Now that we have these two installed, we can just slide these over here, get them out of our way for a minute. All right, now what you're gonna do next is you're gonna go to the Modrith for the Fabric API, and you're gonna wanna install the versions for what you need. Um, our server that we run on is 1.2.1.1. So this is, for this example, this is what I'm gonna be doing this for. I don't recommend the betas, they tend to have issues with them. So I would stick with the newest version. That's an actual release. Let's go ahead and download this. Go ahead and open that file up, drag that to your desktop as well. Okay. Now we need to download the Fabric API installer. Again, these links are all going to be supplied for you. You're going to want to download the Universal Jar. Go ahead and open that folder. Drag to the desktop. Easy. Now you're going to want to go ahead and download the Iris installer. Again, download the Universal Jar. Okay, now we want to go ahead and download the Distant Horizons. This is what this will look like. Again, go to Versions. Make sure you're downloading the version that you need. Ours is 1.2.1 for Fabric, so this is what we'll be using. I'm doing this on my girlfriend's PC since I needed to do it anyways. Her CPU does not like me. All right, next step, complimentary shaders. Now, props to the creators of this shader pack because they made this process a lot simpler than it used to be. They put everything together in one package and one installer so that you can actually just download it and it does everything it needs to do for you. We're going to want to scroll down this page here and close some of these out. All right, bottom of this page here, we're going to hit the download complimentary installer. As usual, we're going to drag this to the desktop. Now we can go ahead and close out of the browser. All right, so now we should have these five files. If you do not have these five files, you missed a step, please go back 
and check. Fabric installer, iris installer, fabric API, complementary shaders installer, and the distant horizon mod. Okay. So now what we're going to do first is we're going to take this iris installer. We're going to go ahead and install this. This is what this should look like. Select your game version and we're going to hit iris plus fabric and install. And what this does is it automatically installs the mods that you'll need inside of your folder pack for you. Go ahead and drag this to the side. Now we're going to go ahead and install the Fabric API. Okay. Select your version, create profile, install. Now we can drag this out of the way. All right. Now we're going to take the complementary installer. Again, same version. Now I'm going to do the Unbound style, which is the newest release. It's a way better complementary and shaders than the original Reimagined. Uh, the clouds and everything look more realistic. So this is the one we're going to be using. Uh, go ahead and click Advanced Settings. You want to do a Fabric install and install Euphoria patches. Click Install. slide this over here all right now we're gonna go ahead and open this back up going to need this one as well. This is India mod. I'm going to go to in versions over here. All right, we're going to scroll down to the release that we want. So the newest one they have here is 1.21. Go ahead and download this. In total, we should have had six files downloaded. These six files. Okay. We've already done this. We've already done this. And we have already done this. So now what we need to do is we need to put these three files in our mods folder. To do that, you hit your Windows key and R. This little box will pop up. You're going to hit your percentage sign, app data, percentage sign, Click OK. Oh, it would help if I could spell. This is Data. where you can see there where the go. iris and sodium right. fabric. Go into your dot Minecraft folder. Scroll down to mods. have already been put in here with the installers. So now we're going to drag these three folders and drop them into your mods folder, just like this. Okay. So now if you did all of that correctly, we can go ahead and open the Minecraft launcher. All right, now we're gonna go over to Minecraft Java and installations, and you should have these here that popped up now, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're gonna edit this, name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it the name of our server, all right? Now, this is a very important thing to do. This allows your game to run a lot smoother. So what you wanna do is you wanna figure out how many gigabytes of RAM that you're running, okay? You want to change that to no more than half of what your, mem uh, your memory cap uh, capacity is on your computer. So for this example, uh, her computer is running 32 gigs. So I'm gonna put it at about 12. So that's going to allow it to render a lot faster and operate a lot faster in game. Go ahead and click save. 
Now you can go ahead and click play. Yes, you understand the risks. You are running modded. All right, once your Java Minecraft launches, go down to your options, your video settings, and you should have this tab here now that says shader packs. If you do not have this, please go back. You missed a step. You have to have this tab. Go ahead and click on shader packs. You're gonna to wanna to click on complimentary unbound plus euphoria package, hit apply, then done. Now, another thing is if you want to make sure that your distant horizon was done properly, again, we'll come back to the main screen, go to your options. If you see this little square right here, your colored square, this means you did it correctly. This is your distant horizon settings. You can change your chunk radius load. It's up to you depending on the performance of your computer. I'm gonna put hers at about 80. I like to change this one to balance personally. You can go to your advanced options, you can go to your graphics, your render quality, your fog. All of this stuff is for your distant horizon settings. You can set this up however you choose based on how the performance is on your PC. Okay, I'm gonna go back to video settings. Now we're gonna click on shader packs shader pack settings now this is where you'll change the settings on your actual shader pack the performance setting your light your atmosphere all that kind of stuff now with the euphoria package you will have the options to have the auroras and things like that on your map i personally have my auroras on every night no matter no matter where i am in the map just because they're beautiful and i love them but default they only spawn in the cold biome the icy biome on a full moon so if you want to change that, you would go, oh, let me start back here. Uh, go to your atmosphere and then Aurora. Right now it's full moon in a snowy biome. Change it to every night. Now you can actually change your colors of it too. Oh, wrong tab. Oh, you have the nebulas too. Those are really pretty. I love those. You can change your star amount. You have rainbows on this pack. All kinds of really cool stuff. But there's a lot, a lot of different settings on here. You can go through them, check them out. There's a ridiculous amount of settings on here. Roar influence. You can even change the end skies. You can change all kinds of stuff in here. So... I would just go through all these, check them out, see how you want your settings to be. Everyone's going to be a little different. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. All right. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just create a new world real quick so I don't mess up her personal world. I'm just going to put it on creative so we can fly around and show you what it looks like. Let this generate. All right. Now, when you generate a new world, Distant Horizon is going to take a little bit to actually render the world in, but when it does, you'll be able to see it quite a ways away. Let's give this a moment to render in. Let you guys see the auroras. And look at that. Is that not the most beautiful thing in Minecraft you've ever seen? And you can change the colors of these, the intensity, whatever you want to do with them. But that is just absolutely beautiful. 